And now for this little airplane, this is a really cool airplane. It only takes two balloons, but the effect is really good. People really like it. We're using a 160. I've chosen black. You'll see why I'll use this for, for the propeller and the wheels. Uh, inflate it with about a four and a half inch tail on it. And then a 260 with about a four inch tail on it. We're going to start. As you can see, I've left the nozzle. Those of you that know me know I generally am a nozzle cutter. I cut them off, but I've left it for this one because I need it for a tulip twist or an apple twist. So I'm going to take and get the knot on the end of my finger and then push it into the balloon to about the second knuckle and then reach through the balloon with the other hand grabbing the knot and then pull your finger back out. Make sure you hold on to the knot and then twist it so that the knot is now locked on this side of the balloon here. Now we're going to Make about an inch and a half bubble and make a pair of pinch twists. So, about a half inch bubble, make that into a pinch twist. Another half inch bubble, make that into a pinch twist as well. And as you can see, I'm kind of squeezing the balloon as I go, the bubble behind it. Keeping it somewhat soft makes it easier to work with. Make about a three and a half inch bubble. This will be the first swing. Then lay it back over, make another bubble the same size and then twist that into that double pinch twist we've created there. There's our first wing. Now we need another wing and you want to make it the same size. The easiest way is just to lay it alongside and measure it. So that's the bubble. And then again lay it back over. Twist it into that double pinch twist for our second wing. And then position it so that your two pinch twists are running the same way as this body of the airplane, turn them both that way, and then your two wings are flattened out on the side. Now we're going to come back and make our, the rest of our body and our tail, so gauge how much you have. You want to make sure you get enough to get your two horizontal stabilizers in your vertical. That's airplane talk. Make a little small pinch twist, about a half inch bubble. And the easiest way to do this part, if you've got your balloon just right, squeeze it all the way up to the end so it's good and soft. Twist off a little bubble on the end. It's going to be your vertical stabilizer. Bring it back to the back. And then you've got now a fold twist. Just take that fold twist, find the middle, and then twist it into two bubbles. And then bring that down, creating two fold twists by splitting it. And just twist it around. So there is your tail. And you can stop there and have a really cute airplane. So if you wanted to make just a simple one balloon airplane like that, that's a great little airplane. But now we're going to take our black 160, set that aside. We're going to have to make several pieces. So I go ahead and twist it in half. So now that it's softer, I'll make two small bubbles. And now I'm going to take, and you can let go of that if you want, and take that piece off using my snippet. Make sure to tie and keep both ends, because we'll need that for more. And now we need another piece about the same length. So we're going to make two little pieces like that. Again, cutting it off, tying it, and keeping that. So we've got those two there. Now each of these we're going to fold in half, twist in half, and then just twist those two together to make our little propeller. And then where we put that tulip twist on the front is where our propeller will go. So just bring it in from one side, grab two of your blades of propeller, and just lock them over like that. So twist them around once. So there's our propeller on our airplane. Let me trim that out. Make it look a little cleaner. And there's a propeller. And again, you could stop there and still have a really cute airplane. But we have more left, so we're going to continue on. And it appears that there's been somewhat of a debate as to why I'm wearing the gloves on these DVDs as of late. They're simply to stop squeaking. I don't normally wear gloves when I'm twisting. So we're going to make two little small bubbles, about three quarters of an inch, and then grab the knot, twist them together, make a very small, about a half inch bubble, Make that a pinch twist. Now you've got two little bubbles and a pinch twist on top. Then you're going to take your excess and just wrap it around the two 
bubbles you have there, coming back up to the pinch twist on top and twist it in to that pinch twist. And that's going to be one of your wheels for your landing gear. Now figure out about how long you want your landing gear struts to be. And I'll go ahead and pinch it so it'll hold its it'll soften and preset that. We can let go of that. Now we're going to reverse what we just did over there. Make a little pinch twist. Make your two small bubbles. Lock them together. Wrap your excess around that to get your wheel. Twist it into that pinch twist. Now the excess, if you want, you can just discard that or you can keep a little bit at the end of it. Um, I'm going to keep about an inch and a half piece there. Tie that off. Set that aside for the moment. Now with this excess in you've got left here, you can either take the time to tie it or if you twist it several times in around there, it'll lock in place and won't come untied. So these are going to be our landing gear. Take and find the middle of that and twist it. Now come to your airplane. And what the easiest way that I found to do this, you want to get it locked in around the one of these pinch twists. I'll come in from the opposite side and bring one on either side of the fuselage. Until you bring them all the way up to that pinch twist. Lock that pinch twist flat. You get little landing gear like that. And you get it just, you can see where I've got that centered, where it just brought up into that pinch twist. Now, with this little piece you have left over, you can make a little tail strut to help it stand up. So I'll just twist that in around the back here. And then take this back pinch twist you have that was on the bottom, move it up to the back so that now that little piece will stay underneath. And you've got a little airplane with landing gear and a little tail piece that'll actually stand on its own like that. Really cute airplane. And once you've made a couple of these, it doesn't take very long at all to make. There you go.